Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to implement a custom hook in React. It's a very interesting problem that you can expect in interview. The hook we have to create is we have to determine what causes the component to re-render. So basically we are going to create this hook called use why did you update that will let us know which change in the component basically which property change so because component receive props right there are two ways states can be determined what uh, you know because you we have the state under the control but the properties that component receive right it cannot be uh, uh, you know directly found that what has triggered the uh, which property has changed and what has triggered the change so we are going to create this hook that will uh, help us to determine what has you know tr triggered the re-render or what has changed that is causing this component to re-render so this is a very important hook that is uh, you know very crucial in determining the performance of the uh, react application uh, this is derived from the use previous hook so i'll uh, 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 if you have not watched the video of the uh, how to create use previous hook uh, please go and watch that i'll add the link in the card as well as in the description so let's start let's start creating this use why did you update hook so as the name suggests right we have to determine why the component is updating or uh, what is causing the re-render so what we have to do is first we'll have to store the properties that component has received previously so a way to track what are the previous properties of the component and then whenever it receives the new properties we have to make a comparison what has changed between both the previous one and the current one and that is triggering the re-render so let's start creating this here i am creating this function const use why did you update okay so this is the hook and here i am taking two things as input one is the name name is just for reference using which we can determine which component we are using this hook in uh, so, so this is just for the reference and then, then the next to this is the properties so because uh, based on the properties only we will be able to determine what is causing the re-render that's why i'm accepting the props now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to store the properties so that we can determine what was the previous one and what's the new that we are getting into the uh, you know component so uh, one way to store the value in react is using the state but when you update something in the state it triggers re-render so that's why we cannot use state to store the values the previous values the another way is using the use reference hook so using the use reference hooks we can store the value we can persist it but it won't trigger a re-render so that's what we are going to do let me create const previous properties and I'm going to create a use reference hook for this. Now use reference returns an object and that object has a key current which holds the value whatever we pass to the use reference. For example, if I pass let's say ABCD over here as a default value. So that will be available on previous props dot current key. So current key holds the value. So that's what you have to remember and you have to be extra careful on using the use ref because all the values that we are assigning to the use ref hook will be stored on the current key object. Now after that I am going to use use effect hook and inside the use effect hook we are going to add the check. Now this use effect hook will be called again and again when the name or the properties either of that changes because based on those change only we have to determine what has changed in the hook so let's start implementing this the first thing we are going to do is we are going to make a comparison check for that we have to check if the previous props dot current is available or not so if it is not available then we can do nothing right because there is no way to compare what has changed so and the second thing is we have to store the value so here 
if the previous values are available then we are going to make a comparison check which won't be the case for the initial render because on the initial render we will be receiving the props first time and then after that i am adding a base update over here which will store the new properties in the previous properties list so basically we are going to change the object completely the previous props and it will point to the new props whenever it receives it now inside here in the previous props dot current if it is present we have to make a comparison right with the previous and the current prop so there are two types of comparison we are going to do over here is one is the equality check so it will work for everything except for object so equality check uh, if you know the properties you are receiving is number or anything else so we can make a equality check if the properties are object that we are receiving so it will definitely be object right because a component receives the props as object but we are just being extra careful over here so we are going to make a check if the props are object we are going to handle that separately so we are going to add a check over here now first thing is we have to get the keys of the properties because these props are an object right so let me get the keys object dot keys and here i'm going to pass the previous props of current and the new props so we are going to get all the keys combined so that we can make the check we can do the check now here i'm going to say key start for each we are going to iterate each of the key and then inside the for each we are going to determine what has changed so we are going to make a equality check over here so if you can see the first thing i am going to do is i am going to check if type of previous props dot current and the key equals to equals to object so object basically an object or an array if we have received and the props key is also object so if both are object then we have to check them different right as they are object otherwise we are going to say if previous props dot current dot key is not equal to props key so this is the equality check we are going to do if they are not object then we can do a simple equality check if they are object then we have to do a, a you know a deep check on them so for that we are just going to use a simplified solution which is we are going to convert them to string so if json dot stringify previous props dot current key and if both the strings are not equal props key so here we are going to we are doing negation check which is not equal so if they are not equal then only we can determine right if they are not equal then this is what is causing the change to uh, this is what causing uh, the component to re-render that's why we are doing the not equal check on both the cases now let me create an object over here const y updated and this will be an object in this we will store the key for our purpose to determine what has caused the re-render so y updated and to this we will store the key and we are going to say from previous props dot current key so this was the previous value and this is the new value so props key so this is what caused the re-render similarly in this check also if they are not object they are you know uh, uh, primitive values and we are they are failing the check then also we are updating this after this once we have updated this at the end we can print them so we can check if there is entries 
to y updated then we are going to print that this as cost re-render and here we are going to print y updated so basically we are going to check what has caused the re-render and we are going to print that now our hook is ready let's export this so export const sorry use why did you update and we are going to make it default export over here let me save this now in the apps what we are going to do is we are going to create a new component let's say example that will receive the props and here we are going to render props dot count but i am going to pass this props as it is to the use why did you update hook and i am going to pass uh, the name of the component which is example because we are testing this is example and i am going to pass the props so here this will hook this hook will check every time um, the props is received to this component right so it will determine what has caused the, this component to re-render now i am going to use this example in the parent component and we are going to pass a count to this so let's create a button that will increment the count on the click set count is equal to use set by default the value is zero and then i'm going to have a button that will say click me and then on click we are going to update the count which is set count and to this i'm going to pass count plus one so let me clear this let me save this page and then if i click you see it went from 0 to 1 so this has caused re-render and if i open this you see that the value has changed from 0 to 1 so it is getting printed let me add something else over here so let's say change and to this i am going to pass a function an empty function nothing will happen over here right let me change this to fn calling this as function so see now let me remove this count and let me save this re-render the application see if i click on the button right even though I am not passing the count to this example function, what I am passing is an empty function over here, right in the function object. So if I click it again, this is causing this component to re-render. So what is causing is this function because every time a new instance of the function is passed and that's why there is no referential check, right? It's not able to determine if this is a new instance or the existing instance what has you know so if it is not able to determine the equality of the previous and the current function it is causing the um, this example to re-render if i remove this let's see what happens i remove this let me save it clear this and re-render now if i click so see even if i click on the button i'm clicking it multiple times uh, let me print the count over here so that you know you guys can see that count is being updated see 
so now if i'm clicking the count is being updated but the example it's not re-rendering why because there is nothing we are passing to the example which is causing it to re-render so as you can see right if you pass a function like this right an anonymous function so every time a new anonymous function is passed so the component does the check the previous and the current function does not matches that's why it triggers a re-render so if i click again you see that that the function is causing the component to re-render so using this hook you can you know do a check of your component a thorough check to determine what is causing it to re-render and then based on those uh, you can take certain actions to improve this now let's do an update over here so on fn let me create this function and now let me pass this on fn over here and let's see what happens so rather than passing a new function anonymous function every time we have created a function and we are passing that function over here as a property now let's see what happens let me save this and re-render so if i click again the same thing is happening so see these are the things we have to notice so functions trigger re-renders and it's not easy to determine what has been changed let me print hello so because we are not invoking fn it won't be printed but let me i'm just doing this for check to determine so see so functions do trigger re-render to the components so that's how you can determine what is causing the component to update and then based on that you can take certain actions i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time